Bush broke the law with the eavesdropping in 2003. He just didn't care about lawyers. He just said, make it up. I don't care what the lawyers do. Just get me, get us, stop these terrorists. And he went to any means necessary. And now with Obama coming in as a constitutional lawyer and a legal scholar, supposedly, he has truly established this method uh, as legal in the minds and especially of the liberal supporters that were supported Obama, he's made, the, he's institutionalized this behavior, this, it's illegal. We are wiretapping the entire world, essentially, and we can go back and listen to anybody's conversation. We don't have to right now, we can. He's wiretapping the entire world, which is breaking the law. And at the same time, he's saying, well, I have the right to do it because my lawyer, our lawyers say that it's legal, but he won't show us the means by which the lawyers get, gave him that authority. These are all secrets, the secret method of doing things. Obama, which, who promised us transparency in government, respect for civil liberties, has violated the Fourth and Fifth Amendments, which may mean nothing to foreigners, but they mean a hell of a lot to me and the people like me. Because, you know, King John, remember him, Robin Hood? the bad king of England, that was all about the Magna Carta, it was about these guys saying, look, we have no right, the king, the king can decide what he wants. He has complete authority over the law. We have no law on our side. The Magna Carta was about finding the right for every man and woman to have the protection of the law. That's what's been violated here. That's what makes me so angry and many Americans. We talk about cyber warfare. The United States pictures China as this big cyber attack, cyber attacks, and then ironically, of course, we find out that we're the ones, we know that we're the ones who cyber attacked Iran first, but we talk about China as violating everything. Well, this is a mentality that the United States has developed of being the underdog. As a result, perhaps it's a good mentality if you're thinking only about the United States. As a result, we've kind of snuck in now. We're supposed to be this quiet empire. We're not quiet, we're very loud and the world has figured this out, and Snowden has figured it out, and the fact that every country except for three or four countries, five countries, have given him any kind of home tells you how sick the world has become, how uniform. Where, where was France when Snowden, well, France used, would have, under de Gaulle, would have given him asylum. I believe that Germany should have given him asylum. I was most upset when Brazil, uh, Dilma Rousseff, who, was in the, who followed in the footsteps of uh, Lula in Brazil, Dilma said no right away, right away. Brazil really let us down. The fact that the whole world is so scared of the United States, so scared. Snowden is a hero to me. Edward Snowden is a hero because he did this not for profit, not to give, hurt, uh, exchange, uh, give secrets away to, that could hurt our country supposedly. I haven't seen one evidence of that. He's doing it out of conscience. The higher law of his conscience has dictated it to him. He sacrificed his life for this. He's on the run now, and all the media, the press, reports him as being an outlaw. That's, the, that's a simplistic reaction. The truth is, he, gave his, he sacrificed his well-being for the good of us all. We should all be concerned about this. We should all turn on our government. The press, oh, the press is at stake, too, as we know. The whistleblowers have been threatened by Obama. There's been seven cases, I believe, seven cases of whistleblowing prosecutions. This is a very, very ugly time. Uh, this is what, the, uh, Orwell was, uh, was prescient, but this is Big Brother in a, in a way that Orwell could never foresee. They can see into every home. They, uh, Obama says, well, don't worry about it. We're not listening in. Yeah, but you could listen in, and, you, and we know that somebody in the future, if it's not you, it could be Mr. Bush three who comes along, or Miss Hillary Clinton, uh, whatever. Terrorism, it's nonsense. This terrorist ban has ruined the world. I mean, the United States has lost its mind we have to uh, go back. I don't know how we can go back, but we have to get off this terrorism thing. The problem is if we go around the world, every public protest, every demonstration against the government, whether it's civil rights, Vietnam War, students against uh, Iraq, these are very important protests. They, they grow out of the, the Arab Spring. That's where it comes out of the people. But what is being targeted here is not just terrorists, but those groups. In other words, anybody who protests government policies in the future, whether it's Wall Street bankers, if you protest against them, you're gonna be targeted as a potential threat. Obama is a snake. He's a snake. And we have to turn on him. <laughs>